Okay, so our first question is, well, to give some context, there are several different student groups, um, you know, working for certain causes at Princeton right now. One of them is Divest Princeton, uh, which aims for the university to divest from fossil fuels. Uh, YDSA at Princeton is currently working on bringing attention to campus workers issues, things like wages lagging behind cost of living and the restriction of free expression when it comes to no strike clauses uh, in Princeton's union contracts. Um, could you first give us your thoughts on the role of students in organizing and how to deal with the imbalance of power between institutions and students or workers? Well, we can. I should say that I spent a year in Princeton a long time ago, 1958, 57, 58. Nobody was raising questions like this. The idea was almost unimaginable. Uh, that kind of answers your question. Students have become active, engaged, changed the world considerably. There's nothing new about that. Uh, students, people your age, happen to be at a point in life where you're almost uniquely free, free from parental control, free from the exigencies of putting food on the table tomorrow, gives a certain latitude that is pretty rare in human life. So over the years, it's often been the case that students were in the lead and uh, young people, students in the lead and leading to significant social, political, economic change. And it's very heartening to think about the changes that have taken place in Princeton since the year I spent there. Of course, been back many times since, but uh, this is uh, typical of what's happened in most of the world. I mean, I was at the time back in the late 50s, and in fact, most of my life at MIT, 1950s, absolutely quiescent, nothing happening. Uh, 10 years later, MIT was actually student body, was taken over by a, was a political activism and engagement had increased so extensively on campus in those years that the president of the student body was a active uh, political radical, Mike Albert still is, still very effective, went on to do all sorts of other things. He took the student presidency on a, a position on a platform so radically you can practically believe it had a big effect on MIT, on the environment, on others, and it goes on. So what can you do? Well, what students have been doing very effectively for the past uh, several decades, just more of it. And uh, how do you deal with the imbalance of power? By working to reverse it. Uh, that's hard work. It's basically a kind of special case of class struggle, uh, always hard and difficult, uh, but there are no simple answers, there's no formulas, no algorithm, just uh, the kinds of things that the, that those of you who have spoken so far have raised. They, these are the issues we have to deal with, you in your way, me in my way, reach out to communities, see if they can join us, uh, invigorate us, give their own ideas, move forward to uh, create the kinds of new institutions that can allow us to uh, create a much better, much more just, a much more free society and world. We know where we roughly where we want to go, know basically the ways to proceed, just have to work harder to uh, implement what the options are, whatever particular issues you want to concentrate and focus on. So no secrets, uh, just work harder. 